Hi, I'm Katie Ziskind. This video is all about empaths, narcissistic partners, and how empaths attract or accidentally attract narcissistic partners. So first off, what's an empath? An empath is a person that feels more deeply than others. Empaths are often called highly sensitive people. Um, a highly sensitive person will be more sensitive to textures, wool, tags, in clothing as well. Hi, Michelle. As well as emotions. So it's not only physical, mental, and spiritual. Hi, Dawn. So a highly empathetic person will be more affected by sadness or will be deeply moved by a theatrical production. They might go to an opera and be in tears by the finale because they just feel much more deeply than the average person. So what happens when young adults and adults who are empaths or highly sensitive people end up in relationships. They end up with narcissists. Empaths tend to be amazing caretakers. They're great at nurturing and being supportive. However, these qualities can often be taken advantage of. Um, empaths are great listeners, so you might end up with a partner that does all the talking and is very egotistic if you're an empath. Um, I often work with people who are very empathetic and have found themselves in a series of relationships. You may be one of these people with a uh, relationship where your partner is an alcoholic or your partner is a narcissist um, or gaslights you. Gaslighting is a form of manipulation often done by narcissists that switches the blame onto you. So say you're trying to share your feelings with your partner and your partner pushes the blame back on you like, oh no, it was you. That is gaslighting and that's actually a verbal abuse. Um, if you're feeling manipulated, like you're walking on eggshells, um, like you just can't get it right, like your partner is going to blow their fuse at any moment um, without notice, you feel really on edge, you're in fight, flight, freeze, retreat responses on a daily basis. Hi Chelsea, this is gaslighting. This means that you're typically, you would be with a narcissistic person. Um, narcissistic people can change, but they have to understand what's going on first um, and it can it can be a personality disorder or it could be related to addiction um, or just simply the fact that they're not educated in emotional skills however if you are an empath you may find yourself with a partner that sucks the life out of you where you're doing all the caretaking and your partner is doing all the the taking from you and draining your energy reserves in the process because when you don't get what you give in a relationship it only breeds resentment you will end up feeling angry you will feel fulfilled or inf not fulfilled um and this is typically because you're walking on eggshells, you're being, you're, you're going through gaslighting in a relationship. So, empathetic people attract narcissists because narcissists focus on themselves. Empathetic people love helping others. So you have this dynamic that is, you know, brought to life. How can an empath truly help a narcissist? One, recommend therapy. Recommend the narcissist, the person who's been through trauma, whatever it is goes and gets therapy. You can't be their therapist just by being yourself. That's enough caretaking. You don't have to call them. You don't have to make sure they're okay. They're going to be fine. But what you can start to do are create healthy boundaries. How do you create healthy boundaries with a narcissist? Narcissists don't have any boundaries. <laughs> they will flip the situation and blame you. They will try to tell you that it's your fault, that you're the one that's not doing it right, that you're not good enough, and that you're creating all their problems. If this happens to you, I highly recommend that you as well seek individual counseling or, in addition, couples therapy. What happens is that the, this is a negative, vicious cycle. It cannot be broken without a professional third party who comes in and supports both of you um, through this emotional, physical, and spiritual endeavor. Um, if you find yourself with a narcissist, you could have a narcissistic parent, a father or mother who's narcissistic. Um, you need to learn how to set boundaries. There are narcissistic people in this world. Um, by moving to Mars, you will still find narcissistic people. Um, the best thing that you can do is set healthy boundaries. One, Stop caregiving if a narcissist in your life is not giving back to you what you deserve. Understand your value. Like you are unique. You are talented. Um, you are of value. Your love, your energy is of value. So if this narcissist in your life keeps taking, you have to know when to stop giving. That can be done through the help of therapy because it's really, really hard if all you've done is give. Um, 
Number two, to set healthy boundaries is have a very strong and firm self-care practice. Um, this could be a weekly yoga class on Wednesday nights. This could be listening to a 10-minute meditation before you start your day in the morning. A self-care practice could simply be showering every night before you go to bed and listening to your favorite country playlist while you do. Self-care is what restores your inner reserves because you can't give from an empty bucket. So if you're around a narcissist, the way that you will understand, get clear and gain perspective on that situation, that gaslighting, the manipulation, um, is by practicing self-care. So by focusing on yourself, by bringing your gaze inside, by loving yourself just the way you are, you'll get clear and strong so that you can speak up and share your emotions or know when to cut ties with this narcissist. If you're looking for help in a relationship with a narcissist, if you're in a relationship with an alcoholic, a drug user, you're really like in love, but you don't know how or when to stop caregiving. Um, if you're a highly sensitive person, someone who feels like you might feel like you love more or you cry more or you just feel more than the average person, you're more sensitive, you're highly sensitive call in or text to get started with holistic counseling in Niantic, Connecticut, 860-451-9364. I'm Katie Ziskind, licensed marriage and family therapist at Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic. I have a really unique and different style of practice. It's so different than an agency. What I do is I allow you or your child um, to explore, to uh, partake in creative therapies, including art therapy, yoga therapy, music therapy, animal therapies, and outdoor walk and talk therapy sessions. Because not everyone can fit into one box. Everyone's different. And this therapy um, is based on leadership. It's based on personal power, developing resiliency skills, conflict resolution skills, as well as overall positive coping skills to help you get through any tough situation, any difficult feeling. You are more powerful than that feeling. And sometimes we need a variety of skills to get through. One day you might want to go for a walk along the beach, smelling the salty ocean air to boost lethargy, um, get more enthusiastic about life, uh, blast through depression, and really just move some energy. Another day you might really, you know, want to just sit on the couch, talk with a warm lavender pillow, have a nice cup of herbal throat coat lemon tea with some local honey, and talk about the struggles you're facing. Um, in addition, you can also choose to do yoga therapy, which is specialized, unique, and different. Yoga therapy works really, really well with healing and helping you overcome sexual trauma. So if your body has been through a really, really tough experience, you have to do a mind-body technique to move through that and effectively get the help through therapy. So yoga helps shift your breathing, provides you with anxiety and panic attack skills, um, helps you gently improve flexibility, improve circulation, and really overall gain self-awareness. Um, and self-awareness is something that you'll use through your hundred years of being alive. Um, so even if you come in for just one session or if you come in for nine months to a year, um, you are going to absolutely get something very positive, unique, holistic, and all about you here at Wisdom Within Counseling. Um, I'm so excited I've hired two expert clinicians who are therapists with children and teenagers. Um, it, I'm so excited because I'm incredibly busy that um, I actually brought in another woman today for an interview, so we might have a third therapist joining us in a few months. Um, I would love to support you and your community. If you want to read more blog articles, get on our email list, um, little updates about parenting tips, um, how to help a teen who's self-harming, um, how to restore and rekindle desire in your marriage where you're feeling distant and lonely, you can read at wisdomwithinct.com. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.